to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. This week, we talk to actors. They're the people who are in TV and movies, but get this, they're not those characters in real life. When you're watching a movie or a television show, what you're watching is a person portraying a character that they aren't. Put all these people together and boy, do we have process to talk. Now let's turn off your head, turn on those feelers, start empathizing, and listen in. Wow, so yeah, this is great. Wow, yeah, meeting all you guys, yeah. Really, How's wow. everybody? That's good. Really, yeah. really humbled, really honored to be here, guys. Really excited to be here with all you guys. Yeah. Can we really go awesome. around? And say names. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Of course, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Of course, Zooby Zooby Zoo. I'm Vivian Bander. And, um, you know, I'm an actress. I've been acting for a long time. I'm in a new movie called Them's the Rainbows, Kid. And uh, that's coming out theaters to July 2023. So that's why I'm so honored and so humbled to be here. The trailer is brilliant. Oh, Thank you so much. I had to get on that cartwheel all day long. Yeah, yeah, I'll make you do that, won't they? they yeah. will. They who is will. the name of the oh, person? Who is the name of the person doing the cartwheel that you were on? <laughs> oh, that was Selena Gomez. Oh, and so I, I was here on I top of Selena. Yes, yeah, so they awesome. strapped me That's to awesome. her like one of those medieval wheels where they have the guy on it. Yeah. And I was flipping around and around and around, and Selena was working. That's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. That's, That's great. great. Um, what's up, y'all? My name is Billy Bell. I am uh, in the new uh, Underwater Siege. It's a sequel to an 80s film um, called Underwater. And I play, uh, well, no spoilers, but the son of a character in that. And it's just really awesome to be here with you guys. And I look up to you, Vivian, so much. Oh, um, stop. No, I, I really I have to say this. Hero, my mom and I, my mom and I used to watch your show. Um, <laughs> being fucked in the country. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> My mom and I used to watch your show. I grew up that watching w- Being Fucked in the Country. <laughs> what a oh, hit. it's so what lovely a hit. to me. I grew what up, a hit. I learned my ABCs from Being Fucked in the Country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I and you know what? I, I Yes, it was 14 seasons and I never get fucking sick of it. Yeah. I never get fucking sick of no, hearing yeah. about it. And so I really thank you, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you from the bottom totally. of my heart, really. Totally. Uh, hey, what's here. up? I'm a Dex Brogan. Uh, you know, I've been in this industry a long time, so I kind of fell into it. Uh, yeah, I was uh, I was just working in carpentry, and they kind of just threw me in a movie, and bang, bang, boom, here I am, you know? Uh, but I got a new movie coming out. It's part of the Marvel Universe. I play uh, Four out of the five villains. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really pumped about that. You in know? one movie, you play four out of the five yeah, villains? Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of motion capture, a awesome. lot of uh, body doubles, a lot of fun. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, so awesome. I'm just, uh, you know, can I'm I ask? I'm, I'm not familiar with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Are you playing the same uh, person, but multiple times over? Yeah, like, and I got to be Yeah, I got to be honest. I'm not familiar with the Marvel Universe either. I just kind of show up. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of excited. One of my characters. His uh, name, Boopy, I think his okay. name Okay, that's one of them. Boopy? It's gotta be Boopy that's or awesome, something man. like that. It's that's Boopy. awesome. And boopy, then, Boopy, Boo. It's, it's gotta boopy be. Boopy Bros, I think. I'm kind of confused. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, it's uh, fi- four different characters. They're completely different. And then the fifth one is my friend Danny uh, DeVito. He's playing the fifth one. I know Danny. Yeah, I love yeah, Danny. Really. Yeah. Good guy. Awesome. Great guy. Danny oh, rocks. Yeah. Danny absolutely Danny rocks. Danny, da- yo, bro, Danny rocks. Bro. Wildest Christmas parties mankind has ever oh, seen. Oh yeah, Danny I have not got invited him. to one of those. I'm Jewish, so he hasn't invited me. He doesn't invite me. It's a Christian <laughs> only policy. He takes those parties very yeah, literally. He, he yeah. doesn't want anybody else. Wow. Yeah. I don't think there's any malice in it. I think it's no, just no, definitely no, not. No, no, no malice. it's all love. But it's he wants Christians. He never malice. Why would you celebrate it? Yeah. Okay, you know, go ahead. Hello, cheerio. I'm Basil Basil. Uh, 
Um, I'm Basil Basil, and I am so, so happy to be here with you all. I, um, I think I'm here um, celebrating the movie. I did play multiple roles in the movie I'm most recently in. Wow. wow. Um, it's the, uh, the biopic for The Wiggles. Wow, yeah, really? I've heard they about brought this. us in, yes, and I played um, a couple of them, yes. It's uh, me and Army Hammer. Really? Oh. Yes, and we played all of them. I know um, Army. Army's Army's a good boy. I love that yes. that movie was rated R too. I mean, it's it's behind the scenes. Um, a lot of people didn't know they were all together at some point. A lot of people didn't know um, just the raunchy, raunchy, raunchy details. Wow, yeah, that's so, great. So that's awesome. And that's yeah. where you know I love that about cinema. You know, it's like when I got into it, it's just great. You know, it just kind of like works that way. You know, that you can take such a story that you think is you know no, it's for kids. But then you can realize that there's vulnerability and there's humanity in every story, you know? I love so that's absolutely. great. Do you guys remember that. the first story you ever listened to oh, or God. saw? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, yeah. gosh. Oh, gosh. It's got to be Good Night Moon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to be sitting yeah. in front of a fireplace while my papa's raiding and singing Good Night Moon on the cello. Yeah. Singing good night, Bobby, Bobby, good night, moon. Bobby, skibby Devo, good night, moon. Good night, moon, the moon's in the sky and the bird's on the ground, and that's why we're going to bed. Did he make his own version? Yeah, I don't remember that I version. I think that was in the book. <laughs> Almost I don't know what else it, it would be. Maybe, maybe it's a reprint, because, you know. Yeah. Because we oh, yes. I mean, maybe grew up it was at different a, times. I may be older than all of you, so maybe it was an older version. That can't be the original text. It mm. can't be. Yeah. I think it, I don't know what else it would be. Uh, but you know, I'm open to new opinions, mm. always. My first story that I remember hearing, my dad was a storyteller. And my dad used to tell me the story about how he caught a rattlesnake with his hands. And he killed it just kind of fast. And he used to tell me that all the time, kind of bragging about it and t talking about like all these things about like, you know, the kind of things. I, th I think he was trying to tell me like that's who he wanted me to be. Oh, yeah. You know? sure. He wanted you to kill something fast. He wanted me to be tough. Sure. Like he raised me to be a tough, like my dad, we called him the sergeant. Like I didn't call him daddy, I called him the sergeant. Wow. Like that's wow. kind of where I was raised and that's who I was. The sergeant. That's great. Not the the sergeant. sergeant. Was he a military no. guy? No, he was not. That's because no. I was going to say my dad was in the military. Oh, he was. So. Oh, yeah. Did he make you call him the sergeant? Yeah, no, yeah. He was corporal. So, oh, yeah. But yeah, it reminds corporal. me of a very similar story. I remember yeah. the first time my dad was, uh, you know, he fought in Korea and he was a he was a drunk. He was an alcoholic. So oh, first I, I, story I heard was about him, you know, strangling some man somewhere. It was a situation like that, you know, totally. taking I, that the life out of somebody. Yeah. That yeah. you boys yeah. didn't have a daddy. You know, well well, what about you, Basil? I mean, you're a boy. Did you have a daddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a daddy. Of course I had a daddy. Um I just it breaks my heart that you had to call him um the sergeant. The corporal. I do want to say this too, Basil. I, I, and I, I don't want to be offensive here. I, am I sensing an accent? I'm from London town. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean oh, wow. sensing? I just, I just feel like I heard one and I wanted to make sure I was, I was catching up on an accent. You've never played a British person in a movie. I feel no, like yeah, I didn't know. No, I didn't know until we met today that you yeah. are actually indeed a yes, Brit. My reps won't let me. Really? Wow, no, really? They will not let me play British. That's so great. <laughs> wow. I don't know why. Basil, what a waste of that gorgeous voice you have. Uh -huh. Oh, thank I you. I wish Dole. I was your agent. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dole. You'd be such a good agent. <laughs> Anyway, the first story I ever heard was um, my mother said, don't crack that egg, because that egg will become a chicken. And get it, her, her language was, uh, her, uh, her thought was wrong, right? It was, my mother was also a drunk, but oh, yeah. I'll okay. say the idea of something becoming something else. Mm. Boom. Three-act structure. Wow, so you saw a story in that sentence that I was wrong. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. And I went, oh, my God. So I want to do yeah, this for the so rest of my life. She said, don't. That's awesome. Don't, you saw the three-act structure of the, the hand or the egg becoming, cracking open and becoming a hand. Or the chicken becoming the egg or just what's how the third things act become. That? Or what's the second? I mean, what's the third act of his dad strangling a rattlesnake? Well, he got bit by a rattlesnake on my 15th birthday. Well, okay, that's a really strong third act. That's a that's... strong third act. It was ironic. It, it was it was crazy. <laughs> and I, I think the craziest thing about it was that that the rattlesnake was given to me as a gift by my mother. 
ever since then, I was like, I think I should be in movies. I feel like my life is a movie. Like, that's kind of how it felt to oh, me. Oh, yeah. I do feel like. That's crazy. You have any familiar problems with parents or something like that? It seems pretty... No, I had a wonderful time. I was raised by three wonderful women. Everybody was an aunt to me. And I did have a mother and a father, but they were off dancing in Bolivia. <laughs> and so for... During the winter through autumn months, I was with my three aunts, Debbie, Denora, and Donna. And Debbie, Denora, and Donna. Debbie, Denora, wow. and Donna. They were fantastic women. Each of them a farmer, but but the kind of uh, kind of farmer farmer of stories, really, because they would they would invent these wonderful tales for me. They really fostered all the creativity I could possibly have. They let me do the saxophone. Mm. They let me do pottery. They let me do graphic tea printing. And I have some hilarious graphic teas. If anyone would like, what wow. you made oh. as a child? But wow. I made as a child. But I think they I think they stand the test of time. So I guess what I'm hearing is your parents left you to be with your three aunts to do manual labor. Labor. No, uh, they would come back during the summer months when dancing season was over in Bolivia. <laughs> mm, yeah. And then they'd return, they'd say hello, and we'd we I'd say hello mother, hello father, how are you? It's so interesting they don't dance in the summer in Bolivia. I feel like that would be the first time that I would start yeah. dancing. You know, yes. you'd think that. So it's the you winter. Think that. It's the winter because that's when Fall people need it spring. more. <laughs> you know, summer is a beautiful season. Winter is when you need dancing the most. Can't word. we wow. all word. agree? Wow. Absolutely word. So they dance to keep warm. Mm. Yes, because it's freezing sub below <laughs> temperatures in Bolivia. Not a lot of people know this. But they're actually dancing out of necessity. Really, my parents wow. were going there as a as a sort of to to be a blanket to others. Wow, that's mm. lovely. That's great. No, so I got a question for you guys. Uh, if you guys don't mind, could I uh, jump in and ask a question? Uh, you know, when you guys approach a scene, you know, we're about to shoot. You know, lights, camera, action. You kind know, of that course, kind of, of stuff. Where are you? Go- where are you guys going? You know, I'm always Gosh. interested in where you guys' heads are at. What are you guys thinking about all that stuff? I can't wait to hear you guys tell this because, I, it's, seriously, you guys are some of my biggest role models here. I really want to learn about these processes. I mean, Basil, to be honest, we do go out for a lot of roles together. We go we out. Do. I see you in the audition room. And we you're do, already in your American accent. Yes, because my damn reps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like we're always going at each other. We are. I'm yeah. so glad you said that because I don't think I've ever been able to just look you in the eye. I mean, what's funny when I walked in, I thought, uh oh, are they going to pick one of us to do this? And then, yes. and then they didn't, and we're both getting to be here, which I feel like is actually revolutionary in a way. Because I feel like we're always this one or the other with us. Yes, and it, and our careers couldn't be more different. They couldn't. No. Um, How and so? It's, I, I don't know. Look at my body of work and your body Let's of work. Compare it, it's compared, yeah. I mean, I mean, the, I'm I'm in underwater siege. I'm in the Wiggles untold story. Mm-hmm. I'm in uh, the true story of uh, the Coca Cola Bear. I'm in the story of Betty Who. Okay, but a lot of biopics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in I'm in Wilderness Child. I love that movie. Thank You're you so much. You're a great child. Thanks, man. You're Thanks. a great child. All to say, I'm so thankful we get to share a stage together. Yeah, totally. Me too. Yes. And and I don't feel anything but love for you, my brother. I don't feel Absolutely. anything but love. If anything, I don't feel... Uh, it's funny to be in the same space. Yeah. It's like I'm used to sharing the same text with you. Yeah. Which you and I don't have to compete at all. Not at all. No, not at all. I mean, it's really nice that we can just be here together. Yes. Like hanging, which yes. is awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Is anybody so going to answer my question? <laughs> <laughs> so process. Sorry. So process. I think you brought that up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you d- derailed us. Uh, let's hear about process. <laughs> I didn't. Uh. <laughs> well, I can tell you my process is very simple. I'll be honest. I don't have a damn thought in my brain when I step on set. <laughs> it's fabulous. More actors have to be this way. I step on stage. I'm getting set. We're, we're, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in my, I'm in play. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. And then in my head, I go, zooby, zooby, zoo. And then before you know it, they call action. And then I'm in it. Mm. It's all about emptying your brain. You How know? do you memorize yeah, lines? That. Oh, well, I look at the page. I flip it open, page one. And then I repeat the line back to myself. So, for example, 
Jennifer, you can't be taking that into the country to fuck it. That's from, of course, yes, my um, show, Getting, getting fucked, fucked in the Country. Getting Fucked in the Country, yes. That's just one of my classic that's lines. That's what I love that episode when she tries to take that boy yeah. <laughs> into the country <laughs> to fuck him. It's crazy. Instead of out of the country. Seeing you say that line here, my mom has a pillow with that line on it. <laughs> yes! It's so a crochet crazy. pillow. Yes! My mom has the same. No, she doesn't. She does. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> well, Keep they, going. They both can have it, of course. Yeah, of Many course. women Moms do. Moms can right. do whatever they want. Right. Well, I'll see the line. I'll say, Jennifer, you can't take that thing into the country to fuck it. <laughs> whatever it was. I think it was that. And then I, I say it three times. Jennifer, you can't take that thing into the country and fuck it. Jennifer, you can't take a thing in the country and fuck it. Jennifer, you can't take a thing in the country and fuck it. But it's, uh. <laughs> and as soon as it becomes a song, that's when I can forget it. That's wow. when it's in my body, it's in my bones, and yeah. then you just let the dancing do the work. Wow. I love that. You know, what I love about that, there's no surprises. There's not a trick to it at all. It seems like a very standard way of memorizing it. No, it's really it. like math. I'm more of a mathematician than anything yeah. else. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great. That's sick. You know, before I, I, I you know, I find myself, uh, fuck, you know, just, you know, just lost in it a little bit, you know, and I get angry, you know, a lot. Depending on the scene, you know, I'm just kind of like, Oh, God, fuck, why are we here? What's going on? How did I get here? You know, what the fuck is this? You know, why? Why? Why, 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 why? But that's all in my head. They start rolling. I'm covered in blue dots just going for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got to rip somebody's head off or yeah. say some sort of big line uh, at my brother. And, you know, it's just gone. You know, you're there. You so. know, my offer you some unsolicited advice. Oh, I love advice, yeah. Why go don't ahead. you turn that why into a why not? Okay, let me try it. Fuck, why not are we here? It just is not working. <laughs> no, just, no, why not? It's no. Almost you know Shakespearean, what I mean. though. What's your process for differentiating between the five brothers you're playing? I mean, are there oh, differences? Yes, yeah. I'm really yes. curious because I, I've, I've never had to play multiple people. Oh, it's fantastic. It's actually very interesting. I kind of took like a different version of anger for each of them. So, you know, like anger is just, yeah, fuck. You know, it's like a broad thing that we kind of all feel, but we feel it to different things. We feel different kinds of anger. Mm. So in my head, uh, brother one is red anger, brother two is blue anger, brother three is yellow anger, kind of piss anger, you know, uh, brother four is a green anger, and then brother five is Danny DeVito, so that I don't have to be angry for him. I will be, though, but yeah. So, so are they clones? I'm still a little fuzzy on why yeah. there's four of you. I've been trying to get a straight answer for weeks on <laughs> this. I've been trying to get a straight answer. Nobody will tell me. Yeah. I cannot figure it oh, out. What a so shame. I, it's it's a mess. You know, you go in there, it's just blue everywhere. You're in a morph suit. You got dots everywhere. And they say, mm -hmm. go say this line. And I'm like, where am I? Where the fuck am I in the world? And they'll say, space, big, big explosion behind you. And then boom, it's going to become a forest. Right when you say, that's not all. So then I'm like, oh, fuck, okay, I didn't prepare for this at all, and I have to start doing the work. And then I'm just like, why the fuck are we here? You know, what's going on? So, But, you know, it's good. It's good. It's really great. I love the guys over there at the Marvel Universe. They're great. That's awesome. Um, that's it's hard to track you when you're talking. <laughs> yeah, I, I got maybe, I, I kind of blacked out after piss angry. Me too. I was like, I what does that piss mean? Danny DeVito, blue, 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 blue. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, you, you know, you're you so did interesting. say something that caught my attention, though. Marvel Universe, what's in that? <laughs> okay, so the Marvel Universe, oh, God. What's going on there? That sounds like a fascinating place. I guess, yeah, for me, I don't really get it. I got a call from my agent, Debbie, and she said, yo, we got this project, and it's really cool. You know, you're going to be playing four brothers, and Danny, your friend, is going to be the fifth. And, uh, you know, like, basically what it is, uh, and I didn't get it, and I still don't get it, but it's a series of movies where they do something in the universe, and... What happens is I play the brothers, and uh, basically they all tie together in some way. Does that add up for you guys? Does yeah. that make sense? Totally. Yeah. Oh, I just remembered. It's where Spider-Man lives. Yes. Yeah, Spider-Man's in it. I <laughs> love acting. Yeah, Spider-Man's in it. So I didn't lose you guys there? No, I knew all that. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. They yeah. just explained they what knew. I know. Yeah. They, they clearly knew. I'm. Uh, forgive me, I'm an old fart. 
a sexy fart at that, but I'm an old fart. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a uh, sexy fart, yeah. My process is I like to say where I like to go to Billy's Place, which is my place in my brain that I've built for oh, my- Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah and, and when, when I go to Billy's Place, it's the perfect place, and it is a place where- <laughs> Tell me more about Billy's, Billy's place. place. Billy's Place is a perfect place. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's Place is a perfect place. Billy's Place- <laughs> Billy's Place is a bountiful place. <laughs> Billy's Place is a beautiful place. I like to go there, and it has all my favorite foods and snacks. And mind you, it's in my head. I was going to say, it's in your in imagination, So Greg? it's in my imagination because when I'm there mm. and when I'm in Billy's Place, no one can bother me. And I get to take my time. And I can be there. I can spend a second there in your world, but in Billy's Place world, that's, that can feel like a million years. And I like to wow. just settle, and I like to uh. center myself, and I like to see who I am. The th only thing about Billy's Place, something a little interesting, every single surface made of mirrors, because I'm looking at myself. So you can visualize all this. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, to me, I could, I could describe to you Billy's Place better than I could probably describe my own apartment in downtown L.A., in the arts district, mm. in a refurbished wow. toy factory, yeah. So seeing yourself reflected in an infinity of mirrors, that's relaxing? It is just because it's like, well look buddy, cameras are actually, I don't know if you guys have looked into this, cameras are different ways to use mirrors, Whoa. right? So these cameras right now, yes, there's mirrors involved in these, like, and I'm not a scientist, but this is the kind of stuff I know, there's mirrors in the cameras and that's kind what? of what this is. So yeah, so that's part of it, mirrors. And what? so, yeah, I don't want to get into it, but, Mirrors are involved oh, in cameras. Please get into it. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> so there's mirrors that are kind of shoot the images around, and then they put them onto you know either a memory card or some sort of film. God, and it's beautiful because the scientists who created these cameras are telling their own story in a way. And meanwhile, yeah. you're telling your own. Yeah. You're rewriting things. It sounds a it's little a bit. Yes. I mean, not in such a critical way as you kind of yes, intoned. It's but just funny how how uh, borderline psychotic it sounds to have a, your own place that you go to. That's interesting. I guess it's my safe space because there's people that are trying to tear it down. Yes. There's people outside, like in audition rooms. Like, and stuff like agents? That. People, um, I would say other people FBI? going out for roles and stuff like that. FBI, no. So, how, so did Basil, that, how did that help you with your role on it just, set? It, is just, it just allows me. Do? It allows me. Uh, can I finish? Uh, um. Yes. <laughs> It allows me to kind of it allows me to kind of see myself and allows me to say, okay, this is what I've got. This is here I am, and I'm gonna open the door. And here I am. I left Billy's place mm. and I'm in the real world. And I have mm. everything from Billy's place. I had a nice snack. I had some tea. I watched my favorite show, and I have emerged and ready to perform. Oh, you got a TV in the Hall of Mirrors. Absolutely. That must be terrifying. <laughs> it's made of mirrors too. <laughs> Billy, or I'm Billy. Basil, I would love to hear your process. Yeah, what's yeah. your process, buddy? Well, the Brits do it differently. I um I start with the text, and um I I lather myself in the text. Sometimes I take the first word of every line and the last word of every line, and I put it on my wall in my dining room. And then okay. I'll turn all the lights off, leave a candlelight on, and I'll read what those words together are telling me. What is the text telling you under it? Mm. Right? That's... What is the playwright or screenwriter telling me without telling me? Does he even know what these characters are screaming about? Yeah. That's brilliant. That's That's really... I, I never really thought about how acting is reading a lot of the time. Yes, huh. one can sing it like you love to sing or one can um, feel it. But I read it, and we find what the letters are giving us, what the <clears throat> syllables, the way the wow. body works with the words. Oh, the syllables, because you're spending so much time on your accent because you can't play your native character. Oh, yeah, huh? Is that probably what it is? Um, <laughs> I... I, I fear that an article that um, went semi-viral is coming up to the surface oh, right now yeah. that I need to address. Sure. Yeah, I address am it. from London. Okay. Um, the woman at KFC who heard me speak in an American accent simply saw the wrong person. 
Okay. That oh. was not me. That woman and was. And she the... got paid so much money sure. for that article. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a crazy article. Well, KFC <laughs> worker sees actor speaking American. <laughs> I can't. I honestly can't believe it. I thought that was so bad. Well, because there's a Reddit petition that I'm not really British and all this stuff, and this woman found that so Reddit petition. So they're signing some sort of petition. To acknowledge the fact that you're not British? No, they acknowledge... Well, it seems petition. like a crazy goal for Yeah, can I say, this have. feels like an agent made this and up. I would, and I would also say that you're kind of diminishing Tracy, that KFC woman. She is one of the top gossip columnists on Instagram. Oh, so you right? know her. I do know her, okay? Mm. Wow. In KFC, she, she's the, the king <laughs> of freaking cheese okay? Yeah. That's what she is on Instagram, okay? She has all the gossip. And she's, number, she's the number one gossip in LA. Sure, gossip is gossip. It's live. Sure, but but a lot of the stuff, I would say sixty to seventy percent of the stuff she posts on her Instagram uh, I hate stories. Her. Yeah, she ripped me apart. No, oh, she did. Well, she yeah. she she caught you stealing from a Goodwill. I just wanted it. <laughs> it looked so good, and I didn't know you had to pay in those places. I'll tell you, she goes to places that you don't think celebrities will be, she no. and she finds us. But mm-hmm. I wasn't there. I wasn't at KFC. You were that there. wasn't me. Simply, it was a mistake. It was a comedy of errors by the bard. Mm. Oh, no. yeah. Is that another British person? Yeah, I know he is. All right. Um, anyway, what's your process? We all went through it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did it. You know, I'd love to um, regurgitate a sort of question that I get asked a lot for some reason, which is, what do you think is the state of the industry today? Oh, yeah. Is it good. different oh, than before? This is a great question. Or is it different than what it will be? I yeah. mean, what's happening? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I'll definitely say it's, de- you know, it's definitely changed for me, you know, like when I got into this, I was, you know, a young buck and I was just working in carpentry. And then, you know, a director comes by and sees me and says, hey, why don't you try to say this line? Turns into a gig, turns into another gig. All of a sudden, I'm in the darling movie of the summer. And then all of a sudden, I'm a movie star. So, yeah. You know, everything's amazing, and I just don't know if the industry can do that now. You it's know? true. You know, I don't hear of people getting scouted in real life. Like, I was scouted when I was at a dive bar with my four aunts. There was a fourth that night. I was the fifth woman. We were all sipping red wine. We all look about the same age. Even uh-huh. though I was 13 at the moment, they were all 47. Um, mm. And a director walks up and says, you are going to play someone who gets fucked a lot. <laughs> you, Later, were thir- though. you were 13. Later, you were 13. They said, they said not <laughs> that now. That guy was not a good director, I'll tell you they that much. They said not My now, goodness. but later. They said you he look said, like later, you're going to <laughs> later. You're gonna you look like somebody who's gonna get fucked is basically what you're saying in a city. Was he no, shouting this? No, the country. <laughs> what did your four ants do? They said, "Oh well, okay." That's the wrong way to react. That's, not That's the, the wrong way to react. You yeah, know, I am looking back and I am understanding some of the concerns. <laughs> <laughs> I am understanding some of the concerns, but things were different then. People were sure. more honest. You know, he was he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't a creep. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't a creep. Okay. No, and that's one he thing waited. I'll say. He you know? waited to put me in that show until I was 30. He yeah. kept me on. It was hold. him? He was the one who cast you. He later. tracked your career. He did. He ca- he waited. I, that's what I'm saying. He waited until later. <laughs> Yeah, that's. Wow. I will say, you know, the industry has done, it changed a lot because we, you know, we used to have a lot more creeps and now they're kind of being called out and canceled and all that hubbub, you know, and it's just crazy. It changes the atmosphere of a set for sure. Yeah, it's you, know? A, I, you know, it's so funny. I, I keep seeing articles about you coming out and they keep saying still not canceled. Yeah, yeah. Do you 100%. feel like people are trying to trying to find something? Oh, like- they're going for me. <laughs> I, I I caught a little kid in my trash the other day. I said, hey, scram. He said, I'm trying to get you. And you say, I'm clean, baby. I'm clean. You won't find a fucking because thing. I buried it. That's so funny. We're not on social media, are <laughs> yeah. we? Or maybe, maybe, no, 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 maybe no. two of my you are. But does. I think that's I why you're saying. I am. I'm on social media. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mostly do lip syncs. But 
It's yeah. It's just for my my team really wants me to do social media. It's a really good way to engage with people our age. Uh, you know, it's a really good way to connect to our. My fans. niece puts me on her live every once in a while, which is fun and interesting. You know, I don't really know what's going on, but I love it. I freaking love it. I think I figured it out. I think it's because when you're talking, someone's brain just doesn't know where to go because they can't really track your thoughts. Yeah. And what I'm waiting. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say something bad because it always looks like you're walking the line, but you aren't. You're such a charming, what do you want kind me to say? man. Something bad? I won't. No, no I'm not. I'm not that. saying that. I'm just saying the way your eyes look. It looks like you're getting there. Hmm. It looks like you're not dancing. It looks like you're not dancing with the devil, but you are staring at him from across the room, just waiting for him to come to you. Oh, yes, yeah. you're looking at him and you're saying, "I used to fuck you." <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I like, do. Oh, I think I remember a little while yeah, ago. Yeah. We used to have a. Yeah, thing. yeah, you know, well, I feel like, oh, God, you know, it's just this thing, you know, I feel like I'm very close with the devil because we've shared a lot of, you know, trauma and pain, and totally. I understand him, you know, and I'm just yeah. trying to understand the other side a little bit. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of uh, where I come from a little bit, you know. Mm. Our industry is just changing every day. Yeah, it has I, ca I can't keep my my fingers on the Ferris wheel, like we say in London. Mm -hmm. Or the cartwheel. Or the cartwheel. Or the cartwheel. And let me yeah. tell you, I could not keep my fingers on. They had to strap me in like a straitjacket. <laughs> Poor Selena <laughs> was so out of breath. I will say, most of my offers for legitimate films come from DMs and come from. Uh, electronic messaging. You know, I I get a lot of stuff online on my TikTok, on my Instagram, on my on my uh, Twitter. People asking me to do stuff. People ask me to send in tapes. You know, that's that's where our industry is headed. It's just all going to be digital. It's all going to be social media. So, so that's fascinating. So all of that is on your phone. Uh, yeah, it's on my phone. It's on my computer, wow. and it's on uh, an iPad, which is the, kind of the 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 middle distance between a phone and the computer. Martin Incredible. Scorsese contacted me about the Wiggles project through Venmo. That was crazy that he was connected. Yeah, to he that. just sent you fifty thousand dollars. Do you think that was by <laughs> accident? Um, that no, sounds it was like just... I know him. That sounds like an accident. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I'm in the film. It's the film. Yeah. I mean, he reached out, and it was fifty thousand. It says, "Is this you? Meet me at Earth Cafe, Studio City tomorrow." And yeah. Did you have to send the 50000 back? So I brought it to my reps, and I said, what the hell do I do with this? Is this man drunk? And they said, go to Earth! And I went, and by God damn it, that was my $50,000! I've wow. got that text before. Go to Earth. Uh, yeah. That's actually my, uh, my, my exit line to leave Billy's place. Well, yeah, they... God damn it, you're messed up. Can you How deliver dare it for you us? tell me that? Okay, I think we need to have an act off. We got to settle this once and once. Oh, we have to, an I mean, act off. I don't we used to do tension. this on set. This is the thing that's changed. They don't do act offs anymore. We give you sides. You both deliver them. We decide who gets the role. That's run. so I true. When acting was a competition. Okay, nobody, do nobody does Wait, act offs nobody anymore. Nobody does act offs uh, anymore. To be clear, this is different than an audition. No, very different. <laughs> no, we used very to have a couple bottles of wine no, back in the day. You did not. You are my age. You did not do this. My mother used to tell me this that she used to have a couple of bottles of wine back in the day and sit on the fire escape and compete and make actors compete like it's a ball. All right, then I'm ready because I I I'm I don't feel any tension for Basil. Are you guys sensing some tension? Between yeah, I'm us? sensing a lot of something. I'm yeah, it must be from him. Tension that needs to be relieved and let's, let's get it all it. out. Honestly, of the all I want to do right now is sounds great. I want to go dance in Bolivia. That sounds amazing. But we gotta have an act off. No, I would love to do that. Maybe um we're just comparing maybe an imagination weird space that you go to and me the text. The, the literal, the hand-making work of acting. Let's Listen, it. it's going to be harder to compete with you because you're acting literally right now with that fake-ass accent. This so is good. This is part of the act It's going to be really, really hard <laughs> First for us. two minutes yeah. of bashing each other before we get and into it. And that's it. Okay, let's go. What's the line? Well, the first thing is first two minutes of bashing each other to get into it. So I well, think you guys like did that. Well, looks like we did that. <laughs> looks like we did that. What's the next uh, thing? Let's pick a neutral text uh -huh. that nobody has the upper hand on. Um, how about how about Riverdale? Do we have anything? Anything from Riverdale? Oh, Anybody I, over here have anything from Riverdale? You know what's funny? I always carry a Riverdale script. Why? <laughs> I think it's the best show. 
uh, and that's a universe I can understand. See, a Riverdale universe. Yeah, there's different. You, this is true. There's different realities. There's different dimensions <laughs> yeah. and different characters in Riverdale. <laughs> okay, give me. We'll is it interior or exterior? Yeah, we need to know if it's outside or inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the scene. Well, Here. no, we can't let them have the upper hand. Yes, of course. Maybe gonna, it's nowhere. This is what's going to happen. We're going to give you guys these texts. We're going to flip it over. One of you is going to read one line. The next one is going to read the f- next line. The next one is going to read the next line. We will do the in- intermittent text. So we're not doing the same lines. We're just acting in a scene together <laughs> against each other. There's no competition there. <laughs> no. No, you'll no, no, feel no. who won. Yeah, you okay. feel who wins. You, you guys always act- feel it. Because the thing is, in this, in this scene, which actually why Riverdale works so well, it's the same character talking to himself in a different universe. Okay. Because in... Uh, let me just explain something. Riverdale... <laughs> There's, I think it's called River River Vale, and that's a different reality. And this is true in the show. River Vale's energy is slowly absorbing the energy of Riverdale and swallowing it. True fact. Okay, so these two characters are talking to each other, same character. Go ahead. And act off. He's in Billy's place. <laughs> He's in Billy's place. Are See, you suddenly he's not hit. Are you reading the text? What are you I'm, doing? I'm just waiting to be joined. Where am I? <gasps> Candlelight only. Why? Why do I look like this? Why do I look like you? You, me in the mirror. Wait. I know you from when? That's all the text is giving me. Yeah, that's good. That's great. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You, you see, well, I, really I don't buy this. You went out of Billy's <laughs> place. Came out of Billy's place. Did you say come back to Earth yet? <laughs> applesauce in your little imaginary fucking corner with the sergeant? <laughs> I saw this girl there. Oh God! In I Billy's can't. place. Oh, you have visitors in Billy's <laughs> place. <laughs> we had What's the whole... policy? She said we need to talk, and we went down to the store. What we were we acting? The river. Yeah, we had a whole life together. Okay, it sounds like you weren't in the scene, so I think Basil did. No, but how do they look? I give it to Billy, so we're a split circus. (laughs) This is tough. A double cast. Oh my god. Well, you know what happens in a split circus of an act off? You have to draw out your guns. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have guns. That's something we used to do in the no, 80s. You guys brought your guns. guns. Is that... Yeah, what? not loaded, but who looked the most intimidating? <laughs> okay, oh so you two you, have walk, you turn around, you walk 10 paces away from each other. That's a you duel. turn and you draw. And whoever's the most scared loses. Yeah, it's a classic. You know, the industry has changed so much. The industry so has changed much, so yeah, much. much. We used to do this all the time on We Got Fucked in the Country, which is a... Different show, I think, than, than the getting one we met. That was a spinoff. They only had one season. <laughs> right. That was the post. That was a yeah, that was yeah. the that was the reboot. And I will not do any more reboots of that show. I tell you what, I will not. But we would always you know, it seems like a very straightforward show. We're just four ladies, we're four country hicks, you know, uh, looking at the dating scene and going out, getting fucked in the country, coming back home, drinking wine. <laughs> But sometimes, you know, we'd get into the lines and we'd get into the dialogue and it'd start to get this sort of rivalry going with, you know, of course, my, 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 my little bit of rivalry with Rachel and Canada and Elaine, like the three other ladies in the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Canada's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> I'm so good. She's so good. She's yeah. so good in Canada, Minions. Jes- Canada Jessica Coachella, right? Canada Jessica Coachella. She, uh, I love her. Incredible, but we used to have act-offs all the time. I know her. She's a good friend of mine, actually. We were in a movie together. Well, this is great, great. because, you know, I actually want to, you know, because we're on this, I wanted a little bit of spill. You guys have any beef? You guys have any beef with anybody? I love every actor. Uh, uh Uh-huh. Of course you do. I hate Margot Robbie. (laughs) I won't speak to her. Whoa, what happened? Why? She takes my tables at restaurants. Really? Oh. Wow, what restaurant? Uh, it happened once at Buga de Peppo. <laughs> Why were Buca you de Beppo? <laughs> Why were you and Margot Robbie at Buga de Peppo? Wait, were you at Buca de Beppo or were you at Buca de Peppo? 
Fuku de Peppo. Oh. oh, because that that makes sense. Five star to Michelin yeah. star. Yes, sure. yes. Oh, not Buca de Peppo. No, 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 no. No, Buca de Peppo in that warehouse in Venice. Yes, Buca de Peppo. It's so hard to get a reservation yeah. there. It's one table. Mainly yeah. because the website's so hard to find because you keep going into Buca de Peppo. Yeah, and it's dot pizza. It's not a dot com. <laughs> yes, it's a dot pizza. It's a dot pizza. <laughs> it's the most American thing. <laughs> and then uh, I was there going there. I had the table in the corner, me and my husband and uh, Margot Robbie came in and was so hot, hot shit, took the, took the table, sat down. Great. Wow, I love that. <clears throat> I used to have a lot of beef, you know, back in the day, you know, because we were kind of bulls in the ring fighting, you know, it was a different time back then. We were all trying to do movies, drink and, and party, but one of my rivals, a guy named Keith Bando, he unfortunately passed, so... <laughs> No Rest in with... peace, sweet angel. Yeah, he Keith was a sweet was a guy. Legend. I love Monster Keith. to me, but yeah. I was on um cuz he was he was the uh, lead on uh Louisiana PD. Yeah, for that the, 90s, right? the season where he died. Yeah. yeah. Louisiana yeah. PD, great show. It was Louisiana great. That was my PD. first co-star. Uh, co-star. I was a uh, I was a young cop that he uh, uh he, How old were you? I was I was 14. A young cop. <laughs> Really young. Oh my like, god! Do it like a cop Louisiana. intern, like an intern cop. I was a yeah. It was uh well in Louisiana. Work permit. In Louisiana, you can become a cop at 15 years yeah. old. So he was a, yeah. He had a work permit to work. It was <laughs> it was a whole thing that worked in the show. <laughs> And uh, mm. I would just uh, he I walked in and I saw him um, having sex with the secretary and he said, "Don't be me." And I ran out. Yeah, that, that was, was him. Own. That's definitely Keith. Though. No, that was the character. Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> some tea. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Don't, never mind. Wow. Wow. This has been just wonderful talking to all you guys. This has been really Yeah, it's amazing. been great. It's been fun. Do you guys have any, any you. do we want to leave uh, some advice for younger actors? How's that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, because I know when I was looking up to you guys, all your advice was so helpful when I saw mm-hmm. you guys in interviews. Mm-hmm. I'd love to be the person to do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for actors, uh, you got to like, Look, just be in the scene, kids. You know, like, just be in the moment, be in the scene, and you guys have such an advantage. You guys have such an advantage, you know. It's such an advantage this time because you guys are going to live in it. And the world's fucked up, and it's messed up. But if you guys can buckle down and do the work and live in the scene and be in the moment, and those emotions that you're feeling, you know, make sure you give it up to God. You know, give it up to God because that's oh. the guy. Interesting. That's the guy. And that is another twist from you. Didn't yeah. See another that? surprise. Didn't see that coming. What? Huh? Yeah. Oh, I'm a oh. devout religious man. Yeah. Oh. You got to give it up to God because he has the answers. And uh... he's first invited to Danny DeVito's. Pu- he pu- Danny DeVito publishes a list at the Christmas party of who he invited first based on how Christian they are. Of I course. think Vanity Fair prints it. It goes up at midnight, right? He yeah. puts it on the. Puts <laughs> it on the goes, Danny's so a know, joke, it was sir. The he's, ranking this year. he's messing around the whole time. He was like, "Who's on the list? Who's number one?" That's yeah, exactly the whole time what running he does. around. Oh. He's a monster, that guy. He's yeah, a little we love monster. We do love monster. Jesus Christ. Do you guys but, have advice? young Hollywood? Well, yes, of course. I would say that in order to be an actor, you have to have life experience, right? Mm. So before you even think of picking up a piece of paper with some words on it, go and live those words, right? Go live your own words. Go go do what I did. Go walk up to a farm in Idaho, say, what are you selling? Can I buy some? And then work with them for years. Go go to Paris. Go to Paris and and, and start 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 farming. Start farming. Go to China and start farming. A lot of you know? farming stuff. <laughs> that's where you come alive. It's yes. where when your when your hands are in the dirt, that's when your head is in the sky. Mm. That's what my mother always said. And you just gotta feel it in your body. You gotta zoopy zoopy zip zap zoppy get a butter scooby dabby. And, and she sing goes. that to yourself before bed. Awesome. Wow, I love that. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. You guys have any advice? I know you're kinda young. How old are you guys? I'm 30. Okay. Yeah. I'm 30. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess my advice would be find your place. Simple. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just like Billy's Place. Oh, right? here's oh okay. Yeah. Go. Okay. 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 Wait, honest, are you pitching Billy's Place right now? <laughs> Listen. 
It feels like a pitch. I, it is not a pitch. It is it is its own situation in my brain, okay? But I will say that there are some people interested over at uh, Fox Animation Group. Oh my and god. We are I can't hear about Billy's pace any Oh no. Oh my goodness. Basil Basil. You didn't hear anything. Where what accent was that? <laughs> What an overcorrection, Basil Basil. <laughs> Basil Basil, you dog. Where are you whoa, from, whoa, kid? Whoa. You're never gonna find me! <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Who are you? Oh. This has been Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist answering the question. Now that's why they call it showbiz. Good night. Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists is an improvised Hollywood roundtable podcast created, performed, and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giortana, and Patrick McDonald. AOAOAOA is a Sugar 23 podcast. Mike Mayer and Michael Sugar, executive producers. Liam Billingham, producer. Production support by Angela Restano and Anthony DeFrancesco. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed in this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe, and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood.